Hey yo, what is poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Rosie back with another video. By the title and thumbnail, you already know what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be reviewing Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Let's get right into it. My thoughts on Venom first. I think they made Venom more funny than scary. I kind of have mixed emotions about Venom. I think they made him more like family friendly, to be honest. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like he's more funny than scary. If you compare the Spider-Man 3 with Tobey Maguire, that Venom to this Venom, that Venom was not scary. I wouldn't say scary. I would just say like more intense instead of like funny all the time. But well, that's just my opinion. That's just how I feel. Next is the characters, the casting for the characters. I think Tom Hardy is a great Venom. I think he plays him really well. And the Carnage, I don't remember his name, but he's a really great actor. In Now You See Me, oh, he was so, he he played that part so well in Now You See Me, so well. If you haven't seen that movie, go watch it. That movie's fire. It's like about like magic and stuff. It's sick. Now let's talk about the fight scenes. Well, the fight scene, there was one, literally one, the entire movie, one. And it was like 10 minutes long. The fight scene was really fire. It was really good, to be honest. I wish it was longer and I wish there were more of them, but like, it was still pretty good. The buildup though was really good as well. I feel like the movie was just a whole buildup for the last 10 minutes. Okay, now Carnage does this, this, this. All right, we're gonna fight now. I'm gonna beat you in five minutes. It wasn't boring. In no way, shape or form was it boring, but it just felt like a buildup the entire movie. There was no like fight scene in the middle, but don't get me wrong. The fight scene was absolutely fire. The ending credit scene was pretty overhyped to be honest, but it was still good. It was pretty freaking fire. When they're when they're fighting at the end, and Venom's like holding onto like his like uh, ex, I think it's his ex fiance. He's holding her as she's falling down the bell tower. It's literally the same exact thing as Andrew Garfield Spider Man, but it's Venom. Except she doesn't die. Obviously, he catches her or whatever. He gets he gets he gets uh, 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 what, 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 uh, what? he gets like choked or whatever, right? By by the enemy. As he's trying to save her and catch her with his web, right? And then it pans to his eyeball and it shows her like, please save me in his eyeball. Just like Andrew Garfield, Amazing Spider-Man 2, when Gwen Stacy is falling down the bell tower. Did anybody else catch that? Because when it happened, I was like, whoa, my boy Carnage is fire. He looks fire. I feel like Venom should have had the amount of hate that Carnage had. Maybe a little less because Carnage, obviously, he's a freak. Overall, it was a good movie. Go watch it if you haven't watched it. It was, it's fire. It's a fire movie. I'm probably going to give it... I'll, I'll give it a 7.9. It'll be up there with Shang-Chi. I don't think it was better than Shang-Chi. I think it was better than Black Widow, but not better than Shang-Chi. It's right smack dab in the middle. Leave a comment on what you want to see in the new Spider-Man. I just physically cannot wait to see Green Goblin and Doc Ock. That's, I'm going to freak out. I'm going to freak out. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, hit that like button. If you did not, hit that like button because I do not care, dude. Also, kiss the subscribe button. <laughs> kiss it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Also, leave a rating down below. Peace.